but it's time already for the first of the matches in this women's session. Let's go down to the field of play for the athlete introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, shooting on target number one, representing Kazakhstan, Alina Ilyasova. And her opponent, shooting on target number two, representing Greece, Evangelia Tsara. The line judge for this matchup is Christina Leitmeyer. Well, there you have it. So, world number 89, Alina Ilyasova of Kazakhstan, just 20 years old, bidding for Kazakhstan's one and only women's spot at the Tokyo Games. Going up against the world number 159, Evangelia Psara of Greece, who is 47 years old and a five-time Olympian already going for number six. First up on target number one, it's Ilyasova of Kazakhstan. Sight of a low eight for the Kazakh. Seven. Seven. It's gone even lower for the Greek athlete. Chance to put this out of reach with a nine. Puts it into the ten. Just got better and better for Eliasova. A 27 will give her the first two set points. Six. Six. Oh, a big spread for Psara. And just a 21 to get us underway. Nikki, what a story we have here. Um, a relative newbie in compa comparison here, Eliasova, just 20 years old, bidding for a single female spot for Kazakhstan, up against a five-time Olympian, Evangelia Sara. Amazing story behind her. Really is, you know, to get to the Olympics five times is just an incredible achievement, and this could make it the sixth. And you know, what actually we had a chat with her earlier in the week and said that you know she arrived just hoping and feeling that something good would happen. And you know, she also said that you never get used to the stress of these events, you know. So I'm sure she is feeling the pressure out there, she knows what it's like to get to the Olympics, and she really wants to get there again. We saw the sock beforehand. It looked very calm, or the calmest it's been for the last three days, but that was a big spread from Sara. Yeah, I think it might have been down more to maybe nerves, tension, than, than maybe the conditions. Um, just didn't seem to be any consistency there. But those feather flags at the back, they do move around, so we have got to watch what they're doing. First two set points to Ilyasova. So we go into set number two. Sara to lead us out. see that thumb tucked behind her neck slightly different technique she found the center of the target though with her second arrow quick 
quicker shot pulling over to the right. So a 10 to level things up for Sarah. Nine. So a 26 for her, a 10 required for Ilyasova to draw level and steal one of the set points. Nine. No. Gets a nine for a 25, so we're all square after two sets, two apiece. Looks like our five-time Olympian has settled her nerves just to go through that record. Rio 2016 finished 33rd, London 2012 finished 33rd, Beijing 2008 48. Athens was her best result in 2004 at an Olympic Games with a seventh place finish. And she was also in Sydney 2000 finishing 40th. Interesting story behind qualification for Rio though. Yeah, there was. Um, she was very, very close to qualifying at the last chance tournament, didn't qualify at it. And then uh, Ivory Coast gave a place back and as the highest world ranking archer without a space in the Olympic Games that year, she got the space. So always keeping it close to the, to the event. And it's got a chance for making six Olympics here if she can win this match. She's leveled things up. I mean, what a story that would be. Not many athletes across all sports have been to six Olympic Games. I was just having a little look at that. So um, exact number of appearances of women to six games, 26, and that's across all sports. Seven have made it to seven, three have made it to eight. So, you know, she's going to be, if she made it to her sixth, she'd be among, at the moment, 26 in the world across any sport that has done that as a female. Good bit of research there from Nikki Hunt, our expert analyst, obviously an expert in the Olympics as well as archery. Set number three, two apiece here. Seven, set. Back in the centre, she'd been drifting away from the middle of the target after the first set, but finds a 10 in set number three. Eight. So a nine for Sarah will get her into the lead, having come from 2 0 down. Puts it into the 10, and that will be a huge confidence boost as well as the set points 27 points in the end for her. And she goes 4 2 up. The, these are very quick matches, as we know, uh, but it just looks like Sarah had a shaky start and then it's just got better. The ass of a good start and just slightly gone backwards. Yeah, her first arrow in that set, the uh, coach just turned to her and indicated, I think, a stronger, stronger shot, you know, move through the front of the... Of the front arm so yeah she's just gonna keep those shots moving i think nerves from both here but like you say sarah really just getting better and better as we go through this match and just a reminder this is the quarterfinals but if you win a quarterfinal match you are guaranteed a place if you win this quarterfinal match you're guaranteed a place for your country at the olympic games we suspect that the archers here who do that will actually get the place, but we can't confirm it. Set number four, Ilyasova now behind. Eight. 
Interesting to look at Ilyasova's target here after this shot. Arrows all seem to be going a little low. And just as I say that, she shoots one above the center line for the first time. to take it here and book a place for Greece. Eight. There it is. Just got better and better through the match. Evangelia Sara wins the first quarter final 6-2 over Alina Ilyasova and has booked a place for Greece at the Olympic Games. And she just got better and better after a 7-8-6 start. You could have been a little worried about her, but she just got better and better. 